Albion Motors was a Scottish automobile and commercial vehicle manufacturer. Founded in 1899, Albion Motors was purchased by Leyland Motors in 1951. Vehicles continued to be manufactured under the Albion brand until 1972, after which they continued to be produced, but were sold under the Leyland brand. Vehicle production at the former Albion factory in Scottstown continued until 1980. Topic history Originally known as Albion Motor Car Company Limited, the company was founded in 1899 by Thomas Blackwood Murray and Norman Osborne Fulton both of whom had previously been involved in Errol Johnston. Murray's father, John Lamb Murray mortgaged the Heaviside estate in Bigger, South Lanarkshire, to provide the initial capital. They were joined a couple of years later by John F. Henderson who provided additional capital. The factory was originally on the first floor of a building in Finiston Street, Glasgow and had only seven employees. In 1903 the company moved to new premises in Scottstown. In April 1931, the Albion Motor Car Company Limited was renamed Albion Motors Limited. In 1951, Albion was purchased by Leyland Motors, which then became part of the British Leyland Motor Corporation in 1968. Production of the Chieftain, Clydesdale and Reaver trucks and of the Viking bus models continued. In 1969, the company took over the neighbouring Coventry Ordnance Works on South Street, which it used for truck component manufacture. British Leyland eliminated the Albion name in 1972 with the products continuing to be built at the same factory under the Leyland brand. In 1980, vehicle production at the former Albion factory ceased, moving to the British Leyland plant at Bathgate. However, component manufacturing continued. British Leyland became Rover Group between 1986 and 1997 the component manufacturing plant became part of Leyland Doff, the newly formed British arm of the Anglo-Dutch company Doff NV, formed by the merger of Rover Group's Leyland Trucks division and the Dutch Doff Trucks company. Following the collapse of Doff in 1993, Leyland Doff went into receiver Ownership, and the truck components business in Scottstown was subject to a management buyout and transferred to a newly created company called Albion Automotive. In 1998, Albion Automotive was acquired by American Axle and Manufacturing Company of Detroit. The new company manufactures axles, driveline systems, chassis systems, crankshafts and chassis components. Topic: <laughs> <laughs> Passenger car manufacturing. In 1900 the company built its first motor car, a rustic-looking dogcart made of varnished wood, powered by a flat twin 8-horsepower engine with gear change by patent combination clutches and solid tires. In 1903 Albion introduced a 3,115cc 16-horsepower vertical twin, followed in 1906 by a 24-horsepower 4. One of the specialities the company offered was solid tired shooting brakes. The last private Albions were powered by a 15 horsepower monoblock 4 of 2,492 cc. 
Passenger car production ceased in 1915 but in 1920 the company announced that estate cars were available again based on a small bus chassis, it is not known if any were actually made. <laughs> car models Albion 8 1900 to 1904 2080 cc twin cylinder Albion 12 1900 to 1906 2659 cc twin cylinder Albion 16 1905 to 1913 3141 cc twin cylinder Albion 24 thirtieths, 1906 to 1912, 3,164 cc four-cylinder. Albion 15, 1912 to 1915, 2,492 cc four-cylinder. Topic: Commercial vehicle production. Although the manufacture of motor cars was the main industry in the first ten years of its existence, it was decided in 1909 to concentrate on the production of commercial vehicles. During World War I they built for the war office large quantities of three-ton trucks powered by a 32-horsepower engine using chain drive to the rear wheels. After the war many of these were converted for use as charabancs. Trucks and buses single and double -deckers were manufactured in the Scottstown Works until 1980 1972 for complete vehicles. The buses were exported to Asia, East Africa, Australia, India and South Africa. Almost all Albion buses were given names beginning with V, these models being the Victor, Valiant, Viking, Valkyrie, and Venturer. <laughs> Lorry models CX-22S Heavy Artillery Tractor WD-66N only 9 built WD-CX-24 tank transporter Chieftain 1948 Klansman Claymore 1954 to 1966 Clydesdale Reaver Albion also made the Claymore with the four speed gearbox. The Reaver was a six wheeler. The Chieftain had a six speed gearbox, sixth being an overdrive gear, with a worm and wheel rear axle. <laughs> <laughs> Bus production The earliest buses were built on the A-10 truck chassis with two being delivered to West Bromwich in 1914. Newcastle-upon-Tyne also took double-deckers around this time, but Albion did not produce a purpose-built double-deck chassis until 1931. In 1923 the first dedicated bus chassis was announced derived from the one used on the 2500 weight truck but with better springing. Bodies seating from 12 to 23 passengers were available. A lower frame chassis, the Model 26, with 30 sixtieths of a horsepower engine and wheelbases from 135 inches to 192 inches joined the range in 1925. 
all the early vehicles had been normal control, with the engine in front of the driver but in 1927 the first forward control with the engine alongside the driver was announced as the Viking allowing 32 seats to be fitted. Diesel engines, initially from Gardner, were available from 1933. The first double-deck design was the Venturer of 1932 with up to 51 seats. The CX version of the chassis was launched in 1937 and on these the engine and gearbox were mounted together rather than joined by a separate drive shaft. Albion's own range of diesel engines was also made available. After World War II, the range was progressively modernized and underfloor-engined models were introduced with two prototypes in 1951 and production models from 1955 with the Nimbus. With the Leyland takeover the range was cut back. The last Albion double-decker was the 1961 Lowlander and that was marketed in England as a Leyland, and the last design of all was the Viking, reusing an old name. <laughs> <laughs> Bus models Model 24 1923–1924 First Purpose Built Albion Bus Chassis Viking 24 1924–1932 Various wheelbases from 10 feet 9 in 3.28 meters to 16 feet 3 in 4.95 meters Front wheel brakes from 1927 Six-cylinder engines available in Viking sixes. Valkyrie, 1930 to 1938, forward control, five-liter engine, 6.1 liter from 1933, 7.8 liter optional from 1935. Mainly sold as coaches. Valiant 1931 to 1936 mainly sold to the coach market. Victor 1930 to 1939 normal or forward control. 20 or 24 seater. Venturer 1932 to 1939 Albion's first double decker. 51, later 55 seats. Three axle version, the Valorous made in 1932, only one produced. Valkyrie CX 1937-1950 engine and gearbox in unit. Venturer CX 1937-1951 double decker. Victor FT 1947 to 1959 lightweight single decker Valiant CX 1948 to 1951 mostly sold to coach operators Viking CX 1948 to 1952 mainly sold to the export market KP seven one NW nineteen fifty one underfloor engined chassis with horizontally opposed eight cylinder engine, two built. Nimbus nineteen fifty five to nineteen sixty three underfloor engine. Aberdonian nineteen fifty seven to nineteen sixty underfloor engine. Royal Scop 1959-15.2 liter underfloor engine, six times four dirt road bus, 20 built for South African railways. Victor VT 1959 to 1966 front engine, derived from Chieftain truck chassis. Clydesdale 1959 to 1978 export model built on truck chassis 
Talisman TA 1959 9.8 liter front engine 6x4 dirt road bus. 5 built for Rhodesian Railways. Lowlander 1961 to 1966 double decker 18 feet 6 in 5.64 meters wheelbase LR7 had air rear suspension Viking VK 1963 to 1980 mainly exported Leyland 0.3700, 400, 0, 401 engines. VK 41, 55 were front engined, VK 43, 45, 49, 57, 67 models were rear engined. Australian market had optional AEC AV 505 engines. Valiant VL 1967-72 similar to rear-engined Vikings but with tropical cooling unit as on VK45 and axles from Clydesdale. Topic firearms production During World War II, Albion Motors manufactured Enfield No. 2 MKI asterisk revolvers to aid the war effort. By 1945, 24,000 Enfield No. 2 MKI asterisk revolvers were produced by Albion and subsequently, Coventry Gage and Tool Co. In popular culture Mark Knopfler's song, "'Border Reaver' The first cut on his 2009 release, Get Lucky, contains direct references. My Scottstown Lassie, She's an Albion, and Sure as the Sunrise. See also List of car manufacturers of the United Kingdom